pants. <laughs> Emma's <laughs> mom bought me these pairs, this pair of pants for Christmas two years ago. Out of the 700-ish or whatever days there are since then, I'm guessing I've worn these pants 600 of those days. Are you serious? Maybe. <laughs> oh dear. Up, up. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Queer Eye is a show about taking care of yourself, self-love, and enhancing your life. In the show, five fabulous queer people step into a person's life for a week and transform their environment, and usually their outlook on life, too. The Fab Five couldn't make it, so we decided to give ourselves a Queer Eye DIY, putting thought and money into making our life more fabulous. COVID-19 made us pivot from traveling full-time to being homebound, so we thought it was the perfect time for a makeover. Hope you love following along. So this week we are talking about clothing and uh, we're going to start off with a little vlog, take it back like a year ago uh, when we went to Vegas to start this journey. So here it goes. <laughs> Do you want clothes? I would like a thousand dollars worth of clothes. What do you think? Should we do it? I'm tired. Yes! All I've eaten is a pretzel. It has come to our attention that Jacob only wears one pair of pants. <laughs> these uh, ones, in Emma's fact. Emma's mom bought me these pairs, this <laughs> pair of pants for Christmas two years ago. Out of the 700-ish or whatever days there are since then, I'm guessing I've worn these pants 600 of those days. Are you serious? Maybe. <laughs> Oh At least 500. <laughs> this, in this shirt, which I also wear frequently, I bought this shirt probably six years ago at this Chinese import store, and it was two dollars and fifty cents. It's a great shirt. I now wear that's a time. cost per wear. We've saved up some money over the last little bit, and we're gonna try to update basically my entire wardrobe. So we thought, hey, we're going to California, halfway there, Vegas, lots of shopping. So here we are, taking a pit stop. We're in the Venetian because we're feeling fancy which was a mistake. We got into our fun little hotel room and the mini bar is very sensitive. And if you remove anything or Touch accidentally it. move it, then it automatically charges your card because of these little sensors. So check this out. Little sensor down here. We accidentally moved these, so we're like, oh, we may as well eat them. We looked up how much they'll be. $12. It was an accident. I didn't mean to put it. I didn't think I would get charged. <laughs> Purposely wants to throw away our money because we're in Vegas. Gambling would have paid off. But, but wait, this is $12. Wait, wait till you see what's inside of this. Here, open it. $12. $12. I mean, it's pretty heavy. I mean, that picture looks... Look at the picture. I mean, those might be some nice... Those could be good. Garbles. Rich and decadent. Rich and decadent. I like those words. Da 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 da. <laughs> They're stupid tiny Snickers. This is two dollars. Two dollars. No. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Better really enjoy those. Rich and decadent. That's how we're living life right now. <laughs> and personally, I've been updating my wardrobe for like the past few months ever since I knew that we were gonna do this. But I'll still buy myself some cool stuff too. Even though I have more than one pair of pants. Welcome to Vegas. Let's go get shopping. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep, let's go shopping! <laughs> Academia. Tell us, is it true you bought something? Okay, we're good. We got at least one item. Pants? <laughs> We've been in the store for over two hours, I think. We've tried on, <laughs> I think maybe, I don't know. I have definitely tried on 30. I probably should have shown you our dressing room before they came in two separate times to take clothes back. No good. But we're getting somewhere. Because Jacob's listening to me. We are finding some success. Surprisingly, to be honest. 
We're having fun. But Emma's not having as much fun. I only got one pair of jeans. <laughs> and I got like more stuff. <laughs> All right, so by far, favorite place here is Rotten Soda. It has that vibe that I was talking about, that, you know, dark academia, style mix kind of going on. Quality, style. We'll probably be back someday. It wouldn't be a vlog unless we went and got some food, so. Specifically tacos. We got a asada and pork. Plenty of shields to not get COVID. Good thing I won't get COVID from you. Yeah. You might later though. Very small tortilla, very big, everything else. Good luck. Oh no, you did it wrong. Tilt the head, not the taco. It's been a while. So as you can see, we've kind of been overhauling our wardrobes for a while now. Um, it's definitely more of a process. Um, in the past, I don't think either of us have ever really been people to refresh our wardrobes often. Like with any type of frequency like, or like consistency. Yeah, it's more like we have the clothes that have fit and that we, for the past five years, 10 years, whatever, like too long. And then it's like, if we happen to be in a store and we happen to see something we like, we may happen to buy it. Yeah, but never <laughs> like consciously went shopping for clothes yeah. really unless you absolutely needed something. That was very true when we were traveling a lot because mm -hmm. it was just... Another thing we had to carry on our backs. Yeah, you really <laughs> only wanted a few outfits that worked and were durable and looked okay. So that was that. But we've done a lot of work and a few years ago we read Marie Kondo's book. The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. It basically says... Go around your entire house, touch everything you own. If it doesn't bring you a feeling of joy, throw it out. So we tried to do that with a lot of stuff and we threw away like garbage bags full of clothes, like donated them and yep. other stuff. And we didn't have a lot of stuff we thought to begin with, but that left us with a very empty wardrobe by the time we yeah. stopped traveling. We've decided to try to pick some favorite outfits and just update our wardrobe like a piece at a time on just stuff we love. One thing that has helped me kind of feel like I could update my wardrobe piece by piece is at the beginning of last year, I gave myself a monthly allowance and it sounds kind of stupid or like childish maybe. I feel like every time I've ever bought myself something new, especially clothes, I've had to talk myself into it and be like, okay, do I really need this? I don't know, I've ha I, I'm not very good at spending money on myself on material possessions. And so that was a nice way to just kind of make it like, no, I've already decided that I spend a certain amount of myself each month. If I see something that I really love, and that is the requirement for us, we have to love it, then I can buy it and it it's, it's improved my life. It's made things more fun and it hasn't come at a huge expense. And then another thing that I really implemented that Tan France taught me and not even from the show, this was more from his book, Naturally Tan. There's a chapter where he talks about how he's decided to update all of his like kind of lounging clothes, what yeah, like he wears his, to sleep. His sweats or like yeah, sweaters his, or whatever that he just hangs out in. Exactly. And especially with working from home like all the time now, it's been really nice to just replace all my ratty PJs from years ago or just super oversized baggy tees from a musical I did in high school with still really comfortable sweats that look a little nicer. And I may have gone overboard. I have a lot of pairs of sweats that I really love now. But I think it's been really positive because I wear those to bed every single night. Like I wear those pieces of clothing more than I wear anything else in my entire wardrobe. It's like I look a little bit nicer on a whole now. <laughs> One thing that I think has been really fun that we've tried, at least I have a little bit when we were traveling, is once in a while, if you see something you really love, that's a piece of clothing, to buy it when you're traveling because it's fun because it's so unique usually. It's such a unique piece. It's not like, hey, where'd you get that? Oh, the Target down the street. No, it's like, I bought this in Denmark. And it's something that will remind you of that vacation or that travel experience for a long time. So it's a really good way for me that I like to buy clothes because it's unique 
and it reminds me of a fun experience that we had together. So if you have that opportunity, I definitely suggest it. Some of my favorite pieces, like I have a raincoat that Emma bought me for my birthday when we were living in Manchester. Well, as you were talking, I figured you were thinking about the shirt you got in Japan. Japan. Yeah, there's <laughs> like a super loud, fun shirt that I got in Japan that everyone always compliments <laughs> when I wear, even though it's totally ridiculous. Yeah, I have a pair of overalls that we got in Thailand. Even like from this trip in Vegas, like some of my pieces from there, it's just fun that those weren't just at the local store. Although shopping local is cool. Shopping local is cool. And we have a Nordstrom rack that is super close to us. <laughs> and actually we went there the other day and there are I could a have lot spent hours. Nice <laughs> options. If you have a Nordstrom rack close to you. Although that being said, we've also or I personally have made an effort to not buy things just because they're cheap. That's something that I really didn't believe in until about ten years ago when I spent a ton of money on clothes because they were cheap and so then I actually spent more money than I wanted to and I had a bunch of clothes that I didn't really like that much so I almost intentionally don't buy clothes that are on sale and if they are on sale I gotta really love them like more than if they weren't on sale yeah I mean it's great to find a deal but you just shouldn't buy something because it's a deal you should only buy things because you really love them and we'll use them Another aspect of my wardrobe that I have updated in a big way recently is my workout clothes. I've never found it really easy or natural to exercise regularly. I've, I mean, I've tried over the years, Jacob's tried over the years. It's just not a habit that I've always had. And when we moved here, this is just like a month and a half ago, I decided that maybe something that would motivate me was buying cute workout clothes and it worked. I went to Lululemon and I bought a few things at Dick's Sporting Goods, just like kind of looked around all over, bought a few different exercise outfits, just enough that I could wear something different every weekday and not have to worry about like washing them or wearing something twice. And it's been really nice to, instead of again, wearing those ratty t-shirts or having to wear something multiple times, just like actually be excited to put something on, feel motivated to go to, I go to like group workout classes. It's not like I'm really trying to impress anybody, but it's still nice to feel like you look your best. And that's been, it's been great. I think that it's been worth the money. That pretty much <laughs> wraps it up for our clothing episode. Thanks to Tan France. We really like Tan France. He's our Big favorite. fans. We lived in Manchester, he lived in Manchester, we lived in Salt Lake, he lived in Salt Lake. Also, literally, Tan France went to Iceland, so we went to Iceland. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that happened, and we both read his book. I've tried the French talk a couple of times, you know, Tan France is cool. <laughs> really love this week and updating our wardrobes over the last year or so, and I think it's made a big difference. My last advice is buy what you love and get rid of everything else. By the way, if you have any advice on where to buy stuff as a tall human, oh, Jacob yeah. could use it. Uh, oh, it's tall skinny also. <laughs> <laughs> There's big and large. But big and tall. Big and tall, but it's like... What about skinny and tall? Yeah. So I either have to get bigger or find yeah. different clothes. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next week.